Why did I do this to myself? That's what I need to ask myself. Why did I do this to myself? <clears throat> so, we went from Norway north. And uh, we were promised mountains and by god did we get them. Every tile is high ground. Apart from the odd forest tile, everything is high ground. Everywhere. And there's like one little patch of flat terrain here. What does that mean? Well, that means it's gonna be a long ass slog full of loads of alpine troops. Now, what's interesting is, having looked at this map, there's no airport. The only airport is actually here, in Trondheim. So, in theory, they shouldn't have any aircraft. Anyway, because there's absolutely no flat terrain, we are going to have no mobility whatsoever. So that means our tanks are going to be useless. And we might as well reserve them, and even the recon is not going to be that useful. And since we are going to have to rely on... And obviously our, our fighters are not going to be useful either because there's not going to be any uh, any enemy aircraft because they've got no airports. So I can't see how they're going to have any aircraft. Unless they've got like a carrier or something, but I don't think that will be the biggest problem. So, <clears throat> I suppose we could keep the anti-aircraft gun just in case. So what this basically means is that I am going to have to do something in terms of infantry so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unassign the 1.5 the rapid fire dude and I don't need to unassign him from there I'm going to make a, an infantry unit that's especially tough to bash through. Let's deploy that one on the front line. And then we're just going to have to buy infantry. That is the bottom line. Now, the game seems to know this and they have provided us with um, paratroopers and mountaineers. The Mountaineers have got pretty good stats, and then they've got plus four attack and defense in hills and mountains. So, as you can only imagine, that's going to be pretty amazing. So, <clears throat> you can't really give these guys transports either, because if you give them transports, you kind of defeat the point. And what we'll have to do is we'll just have to use these infantry and then um, sell them later. That's the only thing I can think of doing. We're going to just need lots of infantry to push the enemy out. And we're also going to need more artillery, because we're dealing with nothing but infantry, so... I have precisely enough... Precisely enough prestige to get one more artillery piece. but without a transport. Not sure how I feel about an artillery without a transport. We could add a soft artillery, just a small one. Another thing that we could just potentially use on this mission and then throw away after. The short range, though, is really going to defeat its utility. 
Let's have a little think. Do you know what? Forget it. We'll we'll live without. So what's going to happen with a lot of these infantry is we're just going to throw them away. That's the the bottom line. Is we'll use them for this mission, and the survivors will be dismissed after. You get your prestige back, so it's not really the biggest waste ever. Alright, we still have six core slots left to utilize, so uh, let's just put the fighters back. They can serve as scouts, and uh, when they're not scouting, they can uh, harass enemy infantry. Right, let's go. Right, I need to mark this unit. And give it one of these special camouflages so we know that it's got uh, it's got special abilities. We could zoom in a bit more, I suppose, but you know. Okay, let's go, Herr Edmond. So we're meant to actually just run straight past these forts, which is what I will do with my infantry in a second. Let's take this boy down. Oh, we got another cruiser there. This is a submarine. You just can't really see it without actually... I mean, Jesus, guys. Did you did you hide the graphic well enough? That's well well and truly hidden. <laughs> minus 2 minus 2 minus Minus two, minus two. Okay, I'm gonna need all of these. Surrounding the guy doesn't really seem to have made, uh. Doesn't seem to have made any serious difference to the amount of damage I'll take, but oh well. The British Navy. Okay, pioneers. So we can't attack when we deploy, so we're going to have to... We're going to have to uh, wait. We'll have to wait a turn before we can attack this town. Strange that I would be encircled there. I guess because it projects a zone of control here. I'm going to have to sit next to this fortress, but I don't believe the fortress has any ability to project. Mm. 
Okay, there's literally nothing else I can do. But basically, we're going to be in an infantry meat grinder here. Seems pretty obvious. Alright. They tried to suppress my infantry. It didn't help. Sink his ass. Oh, right, that's all I need to do. No, I need to do more. To the bottom of the sea. Okay, according to the briefing, there's a huge British Navy over here, so we'll probably just tuck our way into the corner and avoid them now. Right. Which one are we pushing out? I don't want to position myself in, in a place where this fortress can hit me, but I actually don't think I have much choice in the map. Let's just plow through. Right, this is my infantry busting pioneers here. Mother of God, they're going to really put their hurt on these guys. Minus eleven five, dame. Is this a mountain tile? Five minus eleven, five minus six. Jesus, the hero buffs are really making a grotesque difference here. Well, either way, I'm going to lose five troops, so I might as well hit with the weaker unit first. I can repair that one after. But what it also means is that these guys won't run away, so now I can put an end to them. Nice. 7 for 15, I'll take it. Okay, they won't take any damage, but neither will I. That's fine. This is actually not a good exchange for me. But I am going to get attacked either way, so I might as well. Okay, there's nothing more I can do. You can move? No, it's just because I have an attack. Our ship took some damage, but that's not a big deal. 
Okay, if we position here, we are now out of range. Oh, and look. More infantry. What a surprise in a map filled with mountains. Oh, nice. Wow, the super infantry are absolutely devastating the enemy here. Right, we gotta think about this. We wanna put the unit with full health in the front. These are throwaway troops, so let's just replace them. Wait, are they throwaway troops? Uh, they're one of my pioneer sets. In this early phase of the campaign, do I want to protect their experience? Not really. I attacked with this unit, so it cannot reinforce. Alright, this is Mountaineers, so let's just reinforce them. Okay, are we able to deploy now? Does this count as deploy? Yes, okay, we have deployment. I will deploy Mountaineers on this mountain. Makes sense. I'm not going to deploy anything on this tile. Because it's actually an open tile. And I'm pretty sure that both of these Mountaineer sets have got a shot. So placing a unit there is actually a trap. It's a trap! <laughs> evacuate my navy of course we can't go anywhere near that fort because it will kick our ass I could kill this fort it's slowly being uh, encircled, encircled to death if I had a spare unit available well, we'll have to worry about that next turn, I think. I don't believe there's anything left for me to do here. Ouch! Okay, the son of a bitch is actually inflicting casualties on me. Of course, this fort here is not going to help me either. Uh, where's my other dive bomber? Here it is. This has got a range of three, this thing, so I'm gonna actually have to deal with it. Otherwise, it's gonna be on my case, perpetually. Right, so if we look at the map, we gotta get here, we gotta get here, and we gotta get up here. This is the closest one, so it's undoubtedly the most fortified. And these are the this one's the furthest away, so it's undoubtedly the least fortified. And the mountaineers can probably just move down the mountains here. Yeah, I don't... That's not really a good attack. It's 
So, the real question is, what do we do now? <laughs> Good question. What I need to do is free up my artillery. So... I've forgotten that I haven't actually captured this city yet. move this infantry forward. Supported by the ship. In fact, what we will do is I will unassign double support from this and assign it to this. also assign Vigilant to this for when I deploy it. The reason why is because this is a better unit, obviously, but it does not counter battery soft targets. And I need an artillery that will actually counter battery a soft target. Okay. That'll do. <clears throat> so what I've done here is I've set up a situation where if they attack this unit, woe betide them if they attack it, because it will result in triple counter-battery fire. Right. I guess we should go scouting. Scout this flag. Okay, there's infantry there. That should not be a surprise. Let's scout this flag. Oh, look, there's infantry there. And there's infantry there, too. Okay. Nothing surprising here. Okay, our great German Navy can just chill out. I don't think there's anything further I can do here for now. We're still very much in establishing a beachhead. Oh, that fort is in range. I should have realized that. Okay, there's an anti-aircraft gun up there. It moved, though. If it moved, that means it has no, uh, no entrenchment. These are uh, Mountaineers as well. Wow, what a difference them not having access to my close defense rating makes.
You can't win, I have the high ground. Okay, so I'm going to move my infantry here. Obviously, if I do this, I can't fire my artillery. But I will be able to provide counter battery. Nice. As well, anywhere where I can do damage. Next turn, I've got that. I don't even. I don't even see the point in scouting down there. I know there's going to be infantry. That much should be obvious. All right, time to finally deploy my heavy infantry and my artillery. This is the only unit I have left to actually utilize right now. Eh, whatever, just go here. Can't do anything else with it. Right, let's see how much damage I take from the fort. Oh, the fort went from one of my infantry sets. Instead of my artillery. And this infantry just charged forward because they didn't like the fact that they were being sniped. Nice! This this benefits us a lot. Alright, let's get to work. I don't know if that anti-aircraft gun has got the range to actually move in here. I'm going to bet no. One damage, no, no counter. That's sweet. It's going to be one turn before they're in range. All right, I got the I got that. I got him encircled. Let's reinforce that ready for the push. I'm just, I'm bombing them only because I'm hurting the entrenchment, which I brought down to four. Nice. I need to start pushing. We've got loads of turns, but I just... We do need to start pushing. We can't just sit on our hands and be like, yeah, it's gonna be easy.
All right, nice little bit of suppression there. Okay. These guys have got their movement uh, left, but that's fine. I don't know why I did that. I should have attacked with these. If I park there, what are the odds that they've got some mountaineers like here? Okay, we're nearly done with that fort anyway. Well, I haven't got much choice. Hit them. Second pioneers. You know, I'm losing EXP reinforcing all the time with green reinforcements, but I don't want to waste too much money. And I think a number of these infantry regiments are either going to be retired or are going to forever sit in my reserve after this mission. I can move here and uh, dismount, but that is a that's a poor position. And I get the feeling that this map is probably designed such that some of the more obvious positions are perhaps fraught with risk. Let's go here. At some level of risk, I think we'll be okay. This fortress is done. It will not be able to fight back now. It's too suppressed. It is too suppressed to do anything. Ah, damn it. It was in range. It's only one casualty. Well, would you believe it? There's a ship there. That is some kind of destroyer. No, some sort of capital ship. Once my submarine gets a gets its grubby mitts on it, it will die. Okay, so mountain troops go here. Oh Jesus! Look at all this infantry. Come on. Let's force march. We'll create a defensive wall. Oh, 
Okay, that seems reasonable. Okay, this fortress is basically smoked now. God, look at this wall of infantry we're gonna have to bully our way through. Ugh. The only thing I have left is an anti-aircraft gun that's probably not even gonna be useful this mission. Um. Probably should have swapped in a tank, but oh well, whatever. Don't want to endanger my uh, my tank, my uh, dive bomber. I seem to have a reasonable attack on these fools. I don't know if there'll be any anti aircraft guns down there. One of the weird things about Panzer Corps, which I've never quite understood, is if you place fighters next to bombers. They defend them. That's not the weird thing. The weird thing is, if there are anti-aircraft guns around, they target the fighters first. It totally perplexes me. They did this in the old Panzer Corps, and they do it in this one too. Hmm. Mountaineers. In the mountains would still lose horribly. I guess because this fortress has done some harm? I guess we stand by until the fortress is dead. This is this is something we can do. We can just hold on until uh, this fortress is dead. It's suppressed the bollocks off of some of my units, so I can't push. Still got lots of turns left. Oh, they pushed forward. No, I'm not sure that was wise. Oh, attacking the alpines in the mountain, that's not that's not wise. <laughs> oh, there's fighters. British ones. Not seem wise, O'Neill. It's my other fire. All right, we'll have to deal with the fighters before we carry on our aggression down there. These planes are not actually expensive to replace, so... It's just annoying that them being damaged means they're not going to kill infantry. They kind of rely on being overstrength. I couldn't care less if all of these destroyers get killed. As long as this capital ship doesn't ride up here and start being a pain in my ass.
Well, I don't think that they can really... I don't think it can really do anything. The submarine will get it. Eventually. Eventually the submarine is going to make short work of it. Okay. Pioneers have shut down the Norwegian fortress. 600 prestige for that? 600 prestige for that? Oh, baby. <laughs> Cha-ching. I don't know what you guys are doing in Norway. But I think it's time you left. Alright. We know there's an AA gun up here and at least two more infantry. But 12 turns to deal with it. That's plenty of time. And if we can get rid of the AA gun, then I can start using my dive bomber here to start softening these boys up. Might as well, I've got nothing else to do. Yeah, I won't, I won't risk my plane while there's two friggin' hurricanes lying around. That is definitely not wise. One, two, three, four, five. In five turns they'd be in position. That's fine. They can just crawl through the mountains. Obviously you need to worry about Lilyhammer, because that's obviously quite far away. Ruined. I can't believe these guys attack the Alpine troops in the friggin' mountains. That was not bright. Donk. Kind of a weird noise of uh, something being wonked with a hammer. <laughs> Is that how you fix infantry? By wonking them with a hammer? One, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Only really like nine turns to get down there. These are, these are alpine troops, so in theory they could just walk across this mountain and attack. And the artillery and the capital ship can back them up. Let's just double check we've moved everything. Not that we care to move. You know what? Let's get that anti-aircraft gun into position. I doubt it's going to come in handy because I think I'll probably have these boys shot down by the time it comes into play, but it's what I've got, so it's what I've got. They probably... There's no airports on this map, so I didn't think that there would be any aircraft. They've probably got an aircraft carrier. It's the only explanation, because there's no airport. You have a shot, but it's a suicide shot. I'd love to go for this, but I just feel like what will happen next turn is a pair of hurricanes will turn up and make my life very miserable.
All oh, right, I think we're in a good position here. That is a swordfish. A torpedo bomber. I'm not sure that it's a threat to my submarine, though. Not sure how it's represented in this game, but it's not a depth charge plane. It's a uh, it's a literal torpedo torpedo plane. It's a huge threat to ships, but I don't think it's a threat to submarines particularly, but depends on how this game has got it modelled. Right. Well, good progress so far. We're 45 minutes in. Slow and steady wins the race and all that malarkey. Oh, sweet. I was just thinking we could just get the high ground here and then shoot his ass. Um, this is going to be secured in time. No trouble. These three infantry should be plenty to push this. I think maybe one or two or maybe even three extra infantry up here. But we've got artillery and ship support. So as long as we play it methodically, we should be good. Uh, these boys are going to obviously need to push through here. I honestly, I'm not sure if there's going to be more units down this way, but um, it will be nice to secure these towns because this is a this is a train line. So what we could do is, when our mountaineers are done up here, we can tr put them on the train and send the train down here, and the mountaineers have got three movement in mountains; so they can just walk across the mountain and attack Lilyhammer. So that's my strategy for there. Here we're obviously engaged in slog warfare. But we've already annihilated two sets of infantry. Once we've annihilated the other two, it's whatever is defending this city. Which could be anything, but we've got 11 turns to deal with that, so... I might just shoot down the swordfish because I can. But I think we'll deal with the fire first. Yeah, and hurricanes are hurricanes are tough units. Jesus, this swordfish is really tough. <laughs> I mean, this is a you know, this is a ten strength fire plane. Only do two damage. Maybe I should just carry on focusing on bringing down the uh, the hurricane. I mean, this this thing is an anti-ship plane, and it's actually going to be no threat to me. You know, once the last destroyer is on the bottom of the sea, that's it. There's nothing further it can do. There's there's no more utility for it. So I can work up my experience points by constantly bombing this fortress into paste I don't know those are my thoughts that's how I would play it um, but that is it for now because we're 45 minutes in more than 45 minutes in and I don't want these videos to get out of control large we're making a huge amount of money here which is very nice so maybe that was the secret benefit to going on this mission was being offered loads of extra wealth which is always pleasing. Um, we're going to end up probably stowing a lot of this infantry in our reserves for later, but that's fine. You know, it's uh, it's an opportunity to collect extra units. When our core slots expand again, we might deploy some of those. So, plus, it's always nice to have the right infantry for the job to shuffle into. Uh, to a fight as required. Okay, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.